He joins us now virtually. Thank you so much, Senator, for joining us. Senator, in all of this political uh, field and crisis happening in uh, River State, why did you decide to take side and why did you choose the side that you're taking today? I cannot hear you clearly, Shell. What, what did you say? What was the question again? Hello? Hello? Senator, can you hear me, though? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Senator, can, can you? I can see you, though, but, but can you hear me? Yes. Uh, can you hear me, Shell? Since we are having some difficulty in the connection, but I can see uh, Senator Magnus Abe, uh, who is the SDP governorship candidate in the 2023 governorship election in River State, and of course today he's come out to pledge his support for uh, the minister of the FCT in some weekend. Senator Magnus Abe, if you can hear me, my question is, why did you decide? Because there are major two divides in uh, River State as far as these political uh, crisis in the state is concerned. But are those who will be wondering why the Senator Magnus Abe take the side that he has taken today? Can you hear me and if you are uh, able to respond? I, I, I don't know if you can hear me, Show. I can't say. I seem to have lost you. Hello? Can, can you hear me? Yes, uh, so if you can hear me, well, the, the situation is, um, like you well know, the the politics of River State here for the past um, a few years have been, would I, would I say, convoluted within the All Progressives Congress where we belong. And um, we have looked at the situation with the recent changes in the party, and then um, the appointment of a caretaker committee for the party in the state, we have decided that it is a reset button for all members of the APC and a grand opportunity for us to come together to begin to rebuild the party to support the president's uh, renewed hope agenda. And as you well know, Shenhu, there, there is no running away from the reality that um, the minister of the FCT has been an integral part of the Tinubu administration, as well as a major contributor to the victory of uh, President Tinubu here in River State. So our decision to acknowledge that reality and work with him in the interest of the party and in the interest of the president should not come as a surprise to anybody. Any realistic politician should know that it makes no sense for us to say that we're supporting the president, we're supporting the party, but we will not uh, be work, work with the president's uh, appointee in our own state. I don't think that makes any sense. So uh, we put the matter across to our stakeholders today and um, they unanimously supported and endorsed that position as the right thing for us to do, both for the party and for the, the country, as far as the APC is concerned. In River State, so that's the decision we have taken. So, but, I mean, is uh, a former governor Wiki now a member of the APC? Because when you're saying that that is uh, to support your party, um, I know that you perhaps have now joined back your okay. folks in the APC. But then, uh, gov former governor Yinsum Wiki has said that he's still a member of the PDP. Uh, is there a confusion here? There's no confusion here, Sheo. He's a minister in the APC government. We are not saying he's a member of the APC, but he's a minister in our government. And uh, uh, we cannot, with all due respect and uh, with every proper sense of reality, decide that as a party we will ignore the president's appointee from our own state, who is a minister in our government. It makes no sense. So he does not have to be a member of the APC but he's an influential figure in the APC government, and it is in the interest of the party to work with him. And we will do so in the interest of the party and in the interest of the nation and to be able to give our full support to the president. 
So um, he was not a member of the APC when he led the G5 to support the president. So at that point, the president didn't say, no, you're not a member of the APC, so you cannot support me. So if the president didn't say that, we too will not say that he's not a member of the APC, and so we will not work with him. We are following the footsteps of our leader, and we will work with him. That is a decision of the stakeholders today, and that is what we're doing here in River States. So does it mean that you are... Uh, you've taken sides, you say you are supporting uh, Governor Yin Sam Wike as against the position of uh, Governor Fubara. For those who say that uh, Governor Fubara is being vilified and his government is being fought by the Minister of the FCT in these political crises, is that your own position personally too, that um, whatever that is going on, you have joined to wage war against Governor Fubara? Uh, so, you know, there is no point trying to put words in my mouth. I don't know of any war being waged against Governor Fubara. What I know is that there is a crisis in the state which every Nigerian is aware of. I was not part of the political process or the group that brought Similai Fubara to power. So I am not party and we are not party to that dispute, whatever the circumstances of it may be. But I have advised before, and I want to advise again, the, the, the legislature is an institution. The executive is an institution. In the interest of the states, there has to be some kind of uh, understanding or arrangement that will enable them to work together. I think that to ignore all these uh, members of the legislature, ignore all the other characters and um, personalities involved in the dispute and focus solely on the minister of the FCT and the personality of the governor is a way of trying to avoid the reality of what can bring peace to the state. I think if we acknowledge that the legislators are also stakeholders in the government and um, there is some uh, effort or attempt for them to work together, it would be a more practical approach. So I don't want to be drawn into that uh, controversy. But the much I will say is that, like I've said before, these uh, legislators are now members of our own party, the All Progressive. The to broker peace we give them whatever between, support that, that um, is needed Governor as members Fubara of our and party. former Governor Yin so, Wike. That does not mean that um, uh, uh, peace should not be advocated by every reasonable person, because I don't think that what is happening in the state currently makes sense. And I think that um, they can reach an accommodation that will make it possible for them all to work together. There has to be give and take. That's, that's, that's the reality of it. But that is a separate problem. As members of the All Progressive Congress, we are trying to put our party back together after all these uh, challenges that we have faced in the state. And we feel that um, the presence of the our relationship with the minister of the FCT as a minister in the APC government will help us in that process. And so we will leave on him where we need in order to, to get more. And then the others who have challenges, I would also advise them to, to do the needful so that people can work together and the state can have peace and we can move forward. So for us as a people, we have position and the business by the stakeholders, that's where we are. So, Senator, uh, what really happened or what has changed? So, uh, because you are also a leader, political leader in River State, and uh, you've uh, shown that you have uh, spoken about your differences with Mr. Yin Sum Wike. Um, is this in the interest of yourself or the interest of you obeying what the president, is it the president that has forced your hand? to work with uh, Mr. Yinsom Wicked. That's why you have pledged your allegiance or your support for him. Uh, so, you know, I'm a politician, and um, politics is not a solo sport. It is a team sport. You play with others, and you have the interests of others, and you take them into consideration. I cannot do politics alone on my own in Nigeria. We have always tied our politics to Asiwaju, Amit Bola Tinubu, and everybody in Nigeria is aware of that. So in politics, your leader takes a position, you take the position of your leader and you follow through with it. 
So if the president is working with the minister of the FCT, do you think it makes sense for us as supporters of the president to stay in our states and say we will not talk to the minister, we will not relate with him, we will not seek his help where we need it, we will ignore him, but we are supporting the president. I don't think that that is a reasonable position for... for yeah. for, Even for if that position is wrong, would you still follow? And even if it's against your own personal ideology? How can being a member of the APC be against my personal ideology? How can what I'm making is that you are saying you've pledged your support for Minister Yin Song Wiki. There are those in River State who think that he's wrong in this matter. And they have been able to put forward their argument of how I mean, those who have taken side to say, oh, Governor Fubara is being vilified by Mr. Yin Song Wiki. And I'm asking you that even if you support, I mean, you're, you're throwing your support behind Mr. Yin Song Wiki, and I'm asking that. Given him your support, uh, does it mean that you, we ca you can willfully give your support to him even if he's wrong and if he's against your own personal ideology just because of Ashua Jubala I don't see what would be against my personal as ideology. I was one of those who worked assiduously to bring Mwike and Tinubu together. You can, you can confirm that from anybody in this country. It was my, it was, I was one of those who promoted that idea. I worked very hard to see that they work together. So them working right. together has benefited us as members of the Asiwaju team. And we cannot now turn around to say it is against our ideology. People have their own differences. And it is not my responsibility to delve into issues that are not directly on my plate. But as a reverse man who is concerned by the trend in the state, what I have said simply is that it is important that the governor should remember how he became governor and people should know that the interest of river states supersedes every other interest. I have uh, called on uh, yeah. the minister and um, other stakeholders in the dispute. I think it is, it is uh, wrong to focus on one person when there are interests of so many other people that are involved. The, the governor is there, the House of Assembly is there. If they resolve their differences and see how they can work together, we can move forward, even if the minister is not part of it. But for yeah. us, yeah. as yeah. members yeah. of the yeah. All Indeed, for a time, Congress, I appreciate and I wish the, the uh, Rivers the people and River State the very best and peace in this period. Thank you so much indeed for talking to us tonight on the program. Thank you very much, Shil. Thank you, thank you for I appreciate having us. It. Thank you. Yeah, yeah.